slight presentation of Rogers Group, a Mauritius-based company, involved in various businesses such as aviation, hospitality, logistics, property, financial services, real estate, agribusiness and technology. Today we receive uh, Philippe Espitalier Noël, he's the CEO of Rogers Group since uh, 2007. Philippe, welcome to our business show. Before starting with the activities of Rogers Groups and its involvement is, uh, in Mauritian economy, I wanted to talk about a sport that we share together, that we don't have time to play very often because it takes time, it's the golf. And Rogers is the partner of a big event which will take place next year in May in Belombe. Can you tell us a little bit more about this big event? Sure, good morning Florence and thanks for the invite on your program. Mauritius is always looking for opportunities to showcase uh, its leisure activities in the best possible light. And uh, we've been looking for a few years now in terms of promoting uh, the area that we've developed over the last 10 years, which is the Domaine de Ballon. And we have been successful in bringing together a fairly big consortium, pulling an event like the one we're doing, which has got a tri-sanction uh, from European Tour, Asian Tour and Sunshine Tour, is quite a big uh, effort. And at the end of the day, uh, we required more than 3 million euros worth of budget to actually be able to showcase uh, the event. And we are very happy, therefore, putting uh, that show together uh, which will be broadcasted on the three continents. 40 TVs will be covering the event. Four hours of live show um, on three consecutive days to 425 million households uh, around the world. So having pulled the consortium together was the biggest challenge. And thank God we've had uh, Afrasia uh, coming to the party as main sponsor. And we are very proud, therefore, to host this first tri sanction event on the Ballon uh, territory and on the domain of Belom, which is, I think, uh, right now uh, the most spectacular environment for leisure and, and golf. That was my next question. What do you offer to this audience and to the public which will come? It's this environment which is fantastic, the reserve and all the uh, facilities. So. The Belom um, domain is actually being incorporated as a, as a company for 250 years. We're going to be celebrating the 250th anniversary of the domain next year. And it was planned and the vision for Belom was never to offer a traditional room with a piece of beach, but rather to offer something which is much broader in terms of experience to foreigners who actually enjoy Mauritius either for repeaters or those who've been there and uh, who are coming for the first time looking for a new destination. And Balom is, is a pristine environment where a lot of effort has been done to pull together all the facets of Mauritius, luxury tropical gardens, beautiful landscaping, lovely golf course, an integrated resort which offers a lot more than just beach and accommodation, as I've said, 11 restaurants, a beautiful beach club, uh, spa wellness activities, 2,500 hectares of uh, pristine tropical forest uh, where people can actually enjoy uh, at leisure with their family various activities. So really Belom offers a hell of a lot and uh, a lot of activities which include sea uh, and land based activities which is very unique in the world and very unique to Mauritius. Can we talk now a little bit about business? And Roger Groups, it has been um, established uh, in the late uh, 19th century, I think in 1899. And as I was saying at the beginning is that uh, it contributed to the economy of Mauritius. It's a huge group with a, a wide range of activities and sectors of activities. Can you develop and... Uh, Rogers, we like to say, is 115 years young. So <laughs> we're busy, we're busy uh, reinventing the contours uh, of the organization. Rogers has, has survived two world wars. It has survived the financial services crisis of 2007-2008. Uh, uh, the independence. The independence since that has been quite instrumental transition. Rogers was at the beginning of the promoter of the national airline Air Mauritius. We're still shareholder of Air Mauritius. Beachcomber group of hotels in which we are also a significant shareholder was a pioneer in the tourism industry. 
over the years, let's say over the last 40, 50 years, Rogers has really um, focused on services. Uh, we've got involved into many areas uh, of the economy, or many sectors of operations over the 115 years, but today we are really a service-based conglomerate. So uh, the, what we do today, which ranges from real estate um, to uh, logistics, travel, tourism, leisure, uh, insurance and financial services. Those dimensions today really for us are all focusing on a service area and we cater for clients around the world. Uh, we cater for tourists, we cater for homeowners from overseas, we service uh, people who need logistics solutions uh, between continents and um, I think the, the current golf event actually puts us in a very legitimate position in terms of what we've done because Mauritius was actually uh, populated from people migration from Europe, uh, Africa and from Asia. The tri-sanction is actually a tri-sanction from Africa, Europe and Asia and Rogers operates within those continents. Uh, today we have 52 small offices in 12 countries outside Mauritius and mostly focus on those three continents. So uh, that's what we try and do and we make sure that as we go forward Mauritius and Mauritian business keeps uh, a high level of integration with the, com the business communities and the clients of those three continents. Then, in the coming years, what is the outlook of the group? Rogers has, has I think, one of the strengths of the group has always been the capacity to reinvent itself, to actually adapt to changing times. Uh, agility is one of our forces. We are, we are very agile. We are able to adapt and change. And as a service-based organization, we are therefore pushing the international agenda uh, even to a broader level. So for us, uh, really integrating Mauritius as an island economy to those business communities is, is really our focus over the next few years. So growing uh, the businesses that we currently have in Mauritius and beyond in a deeper manner. So it's not really about developing new business lines, but it's more about doing a lot more of the same businesses in depth. So people can expect us to be at the forefront of innovation with respect to uh, the World Wide Web, with respect to social media, with respect to the modern ways of reaching out to our customers and really servicing the needs of the worldwide citizen from the Mauritian base, offering services uh, on our territory, but also servicing customer needs on territories that are much beyond Mauritius, uh, servicing needs of clients uh, who are actually uh, residing in Europe or in Africa or in Asia from a Mauritian solution. Okay, and always adapt to these needs of people. Ad adapting to the needs and, and making sure that we are uh, able to, um, uh, to service them according to their current needs and anticipating those needs is, is what Rogers is, is currently doing. Philip, thank you very much. It was very interesting to share these uh, views with you uh, and we hope that these projects will strengthen the renown of Mauritius abroad and uh, that the golf tournament will be a great success. Thank you very much Florence and I look forward to seeing you at the tournament in the, on the 7th of May uh, 2015. Try. Definitely. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.